Did you turn off the radio? Yes, I did. I turned it off. That's good. Did you clean up your room? Yes, I did. I cleaned it up. That's good. Did you turn in your homework? No, I didn't. I didn't turn it in. Too bad. Did you turn off the radio? Yes, I did. I turned it off. That's good. Did you clean up your room? Yes, I did. I cleaned it up. That's good. Did you turn in your homework? No, I didn't. I didn't turn it in. Too bad. Are you ready? Let's go. Wait a minute. Why? I think I forgot to do something. Did you forget to put on sunscreen? No, I didn't forget. I put it on. Did you turn off the radio? Yes, I turned it off. Okay then. You didn't forget to do anything. Let's go. Now I remember. What? I forgot to take off my watch. I hope your watch is waterproof. She always speaks English very quietly. Sometimes I can't understand her. I usually speak English very slowly, but she never understands me. Sometimes he speaks English quickly. But he doesn't always speak quietly. I always listen carefully, but I never understand him. Let's read about the missing pin. I'm next, said Wendy. But I can't find my lucky pin. Someone stole it. What does it look like? Asked Julie. It looks like a little shiny flower," said Wendy. "It sparkles." "Who was in the room with you?" asked Julie. "Just Mrs. Ham and the baby Tony," said Wendy. "Oh no," said Mrs. Ham. "What's the matter, Mrs. Ham?" asked Wendy. "I can't find my clip," said Mrs. Ham. "It was on the table. Now it's missing." Mrs. Ham, does your hair clip sparkle? Asked Julie. Yes, it does, said Mrs. Ham. Does Tony like shiny, sparkly things? Does he like flowers? Asked Julie. Yes, he does, said Mrs. Ham. I think I know who our thief is, said Julie.